Rins, how long have you been doing sports? Sports? Since I was young, because my family is into sports as mm -hmm. well. And then I started uh, sports casting because I love sports. When I was in, uh, in high school, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was so with that, sabi ko, I want to do that. Pero but the really thing is love. that, uh. but the thing is that I'm a frustrated doctor. Oh. So parang paano yun, de ba? So when I was in college, naman I studied sports science. I see. So I do rehabilitation therapy for athletes, naman. So ngayon para ka ng uh, semi doctor ng mga athletes, and then you also by by sports casting, syempre alam mo rin yung ins and outs of sports. That's right. But the thing is that, um, medyo mahirap lang, kasi parang Lahat ng sa sportscasters namin graduate sila ng communication mascom. So I was the first sportscaster in the Philippines na wala dun sa course na yon. So I'm very proud of it. Tapos I can still use my uh, knowledge in sports science when I'm sportscasting, especially when we have sports injuries like that. I can report about it. So it's good on my part. Mm -hmm. And speaking of sports, mm -hmm. Itong isa kong ano, interview mm -hmm. dito sa Spotlight, yung ano niya, ginamit niya yung passion niya, yung discipline niya. First of all, because he started late. Mm -hmm. He started at the age of 20. He went to Japan not knowing how to speak the language. And in one year, black belter siya sa What's judo. his sport? His sport is judo. judo? Um, he, uh, and of course, um, he graduated. Yung parabang, he really enjoyed it. And in a few years, he was one of the top ranking Jiu-Jitsu wow. champions. Not only here in the Philippines, but all over the world. Ibang klase talaga siya. Ikaw may sport ka, Will? Yes. Nung bata ako, I used to play a lot of mm -hmm. tennis. Um, tennis and swimming. Mm -hmm. Those were my passions. But then when I fractured my arm, it parabang it broke my heart na I couldn't play tennis anymore because uh -huh. I fractured my good arm, uh -huh. yung, yung the arm that I used to, uh -huh. to my forehand. So what I do now is I run, I box a little mm. bit, and I'm in the process of rehabilitating my arm na hopefully soon etong taon na ito sana makakabalik ka yes, makakapag and you know the good thing about engaging yourself into sports kasi natututo ka about discipline yun, diba yun next, number tama. one yun yes. kasi you have to control your mind mm. kasi ang mga athletes natin like for example I also was an intern dun sa ating uh, Philippine Sports Commission mm. So yung mga athletes natin nagigising sila na maaga, ba? You mm. you don't know how much discipline it has to take them para yes. lang matulog sila na maaga, not to party, ba? And to eat healthy also. They have a different life away from what you call normal, ba? That's While right, other people that's are right. going Partying, out. Yes. Yeah. Yes, They're going sleeping to the already. Yes, so Because eto. the next day they have a competition. Yes. Kaya eto ngayon, importante importante to. We're going to see this how 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 this guy's uh, uh, discipline really did well in the field of judo and jujitsu. Panoorin yun ito right here on Spotlight. I'm Reggie Tongol, a lawyer by profession, TV host by advocacy. I'm William Theo. I am a journalist, a commercial model, and also a realtor. Join me and meet the mighty shakers and movers of society and be inspired by their amazing journey through life here on Spotlight. Jiu-Judo Red and White Belter, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belter, 9 times SEA Games Gold Medalist, 2 times Judo Olympian, Jiu-Jitsu Gold Medalist, and many more achievements earning him the name one of Southeast Asia's toughest and most gifted fighters. But just like any champion, John Bailon had his own pain before the game. Pinangako ng Negros, pero uh -huh. kung saan-saan kami natira eh. Uh -huh. Natira kami ng Mindanao, nung time na yun, may gera dun. Uh -huh. 68 yes. hanggang 74. Uh -huh. So, naranasan namin yung mag-evacuate sa, sa iba-ibang lugar uh -huh. dahil nga may gera nga eh. Uh -huh. Nung bata pa ako, talaga mahilig na ako sa mga martial arts. Uh -huh. Hilig manood ng mga pelikula, ganyan, gaya-gaya. Hilig gaya. mo na talaga. It Hilig was really, na. it was already uh -huh. a uh, interest, kung baga. Interesado talaga ako matuto uh -huh. ka. So, may mga ano na... Siyempre, wala kang chance mag-aaral. Siyempre, probinsya eh. Wala uh, mga ganong school sa probinsya. Kaya uh, yung nagkaroon ng chance na nandito na, siyempre, may mga kaibigan tayo. Uh, gustong tumulong, ganyan. So, yeah, parang una, parang di pa ako seryoso. Di pa ako talaga ano, 
disidido na mag-aral ng ganyan. Pero kasi siyempre isipin mo, mahirap tumira sa ibang mansa. Eh. Tama. Diba? Oh. Nung una, nung pumunta ako ng Japan para mag-aral ng Japanese din. Anong is, edad po yun? Uh, take, age 20 at 20. 20. Pero dito po kayo nag, nag, nag-aral lahat. Dito kayo lumaki sa Pilipinas. Oo. Oh, dito, dito. Tapos, uh, yun, nung 20 na ako, pumunta ako ng Japan. Then, nag-aral ng Japanese mm-hmm. uh, at saka judo at the same time. So, medyo mahirap ang buhay. Mm-hmm. Time na yun, dahil nag-aaral ka, nagjujudo ka siyempre, magtatrabaho ka rin. Mm-hmm. So, medyo mahirap. Pero, para kang naman, naging working student. Working ganun. students yun. So, Survive naman at enjoy ko naman yung pagjujudo ko. Pero sa umpisa, napakahirap dahil siyempre hindi mo alam yung art. Siyempre, oh. masakit pala. Akala ko ganun kadali. Talaga. Start ako from zero sa kulo. Kaya yun ang maganda kasi doon ako mag-start. Wala akong bad habit. Hindi kasi nung umpisa, pag baguhan ka pala, hindi ka po pwede mag-compete. Diba? So, aral ka muna. Doon, nung natuto na ako mag-compete kasi may monthly competition doon eh. Yung para sa belt. Kailangan mong mag-compete. Mag-iipong ka ng points para ka ma-promote sa sa belt mo. Mm. So, nung una, medyo mahirap kasi siya, mahirap naman ito. Tumigil nga ako ng one week kasi sabi ko, parang hindi ko yata kaya. Mm-hmm. Kaya sabi ko, nandito na ako eh. Oh. Sa loob ko sa loob, nandito na ako. Inumpisaan ko na, ay, hindi pwede. Mm. Ituloy ko na to. Nung tinuloy ko na, siyempre, nananalo ako. Sabi ko, eh, masarap palang manalo. Ano kaya kung bandera na yung umakyat? Sabi ko, mas masaya. Oh. So, sabi ko, nanonood ako ng mga world championship, mga olympics, mga video, sabi ko, sarap po ang pakiramdam pag number one ka, ano, tapos olympic, tumutugtog yung national anthem. Sabi ko, i-anoin ko yan. Pag i-gihan ko pa, sabi ko, balang araw, malay mo, maging national team ako. He started his judo training at the age of 20. And in just one year, he was already a black belter. Una, na-injured ako. Uncle, uh, ill- illegal yung ginawa sa akin na technique. Eh. Scissor, okay. bawal yun. Uh-uh. Pag ginawa mo yun, DQ ka sa competition. Disqualified. Pero ginawa sa akin yun ng foreigner din. So, tumunog yung uncle ko hanggang ngayon. Mas malaki nga yung uncle ko sa kanan kumpara sa right kasi hindi na nabalik eh. Okay. Kaya nung time na sabi ko, parang... Ang sakit yun, that's worse masakit. than a sprain. Sakit, tapos hindi ka makalakad. Oh. Eh, ang ilang minuto ba 5 7 minutes from sa dorm hanggang station maglalakad ka di ba mm-hmm. alangan mo magtaxi ka pa ang malang taxi sa Japan so nilalakad ko yun doon naiisip sabi ko parang ayoko na bakit may ganito nakikita ko naman yung ibang nai-injure din sabi ko mas malala pa yun na bakit bumabalik bumagaling pa sila tinitingnan ko yung nasa paligid ko may mga injury din mas malala pa naka-tape naglalaro o bakit kaya ako oh. kaya ko rin yan mm-hmm. total nandito na ako sabi ko, hindi ako uuwi na ano, bagas ano, wala akong matutunan dito. Saka sabi pa lagi sa akin ng teacher ko, ano yan, uh, yung injury daw, it's kimono. It's kimono, ibig sabihin, pag kumakain, nandyan yung, yung siyempre, dessert, bagas ano, kasama yan eh. When we return, pag natakot ka, hindi mo alam kung ano yung sa likod nun, pasukin mo. John Bailon trained in Japan in 15 years time. This made him not just an excellent fighter, but a good sensei as well. In fact, one of his female students won the gold medal in 2014 Asian Beach Games in Thailand. He whereas went home with only a bronze medal, but this didn't dishearten him. Kung magaling ka, natalo ka, eh marami dyan mas magaling pa sa'yo, natatalo din eh. Okay, Ayun, di ba? Sabi okay. ko, bakit ako malulumural? Ayan mo na yan. Tal- tap- tapos na yan eh, natalo ako. Ngayon, pagbutihin ko, next time, babawi next ako. Time, Kung gusto mong ma-achieve yung mga goals mo sa buhay, yung mga ganyan, eh, kailangan mo talaga pagtsagaan yan. Hindi ka pwedeng pa-easy-easy lang. Kaya kung minsan, maraming tukso ngayon, uh, gimmick-gimmick, uh, paliban mo muna yan. Paliban mo muna yan at unay mo muna yung, yung obligasyon mo. Ito-training ka, siyempre, as an athlete, uh, siyempre, eh, hindi lang sarili mo yung dala-dala mo, kundi yung bansa, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kung napapahiya ka doon, bansa rin da- pinapahiya mo eh. Kaya dapat, siyempre, responsibility din ka. No. Kasi hindi na dala yun. May flag ka na sa doon. Though a member of the Philippine Air Force, he spends most of his time in his own training gym to impart his knowledge to future jiu-jitsu fighters. And the three major things that he instills in them are discipline, dedication, And of course, hard work. Hindi pwedeng pa-relax-relax kasi kung yung kalaban mo talagang nagpo-push 
hard training, ikaw relax lang. So, huwag ka naman masyadong mag-expect na manalo ka. Mm-hmm. Attitude, talagang mm-hmm. kailangan maayos. Hindi pwedeng bara-bara ka rin eh. Hindi mm-hmm. ka magtatagal dyan. Sa ngayon, siguro makakachamba-chamba ka. Oh. Pero hindi ka rin tatagal. Pag okay. natakot ka, hindi mo alam kung ano yung sa likod nun. Pasukin mo. Si Rins, ayan, nakita mo na, para bang he's 50 years old, he's in great shape, mm-hmm. he's still going to compete, and he's doing much better than people much younger than I, him. I think when you really want something, you don't have to stop it. Eh. You really yes. have to achieve something better than that. That's why, uh, nag-evolve yung kanyang sports, di ba? He started from judo, and then right now, he's doing jiu-jitsu. But mm-hmm. it's the same thing. It's the same kind of discipline that he yes. has to undergo.